the most important political and economic event of the week is the election tomorrow. Uh, I, I would say most important economic event of the week, too. Not because it's going to determine whether the economy continues to grow or contract, but obviously the priorities of the president and the Senate and the House are going to override really anything that I can think of that we might hear from Jerome Powell from publicly traded corporations or anywhere else. It is going to be the most important, even economic event of, uh, of the week will be tomorrow's election, uh, the outcome of which hopefully we'll have some clarity about by Wednesday. And uh, all of the other stuff that's going to happen, I mean, you know, the Federal Reserve is so aware of this that they kicked their meeting back by a full day so that they didn't have to uh, compete for any eyeballs with uh, with the election coming out. So that's going to be all that really matters. And I can understand why people listening might have a tough time focusing on anything other than that this week. I'll disagree with that. Will you? Fed meetings more important. <laughs> Completely disagree. Jay Powell at the stroke of a pen or push of a button or however they actually, whatever they actually do in order to change interest rates. Mm. It's unclear to me the, the exact mechanism, whether it's button, dove, lever, dove. I, I don't think they change rates by dove. Hawk. Pigeon. Could be a hawk. Could carrier, be a hawk carrier, sometimes. That carrier was gonna, pigeon. That was going to be my case. They, yeah, they, carrier they, pigeon. It's, it's like you're waiting for them to name the new pope. Whatever yeah. birds they release out of the, uh, no, the, the, the Fed building. Smoke. Well, they don't burn the birds. Yeah. That would be bad. Uh, Jay Powell, with the the push of a button, can have more impact on the U.S. and global economy than any other person on the planet. True. President, Senate, House included. True. I'm not saying that tomorrow's vote isn't important to, you know, the the broader idea of, like, humanity and the world and everything. Mm Mm-hmm. But from an economic perspective, honestly, there is nothing like Jay Powell. And not him specifically, but the the Fed chair. Like There is no one else who is that powerful economically. Like, there's no one else that, that has that level of control. Yeah, I, I will still say that uh, the importance of tomorrow's election outweighs what we're going to hear from Jerome Powell in terms of the economic implications because we don't just have the presidential election going on we have the Senate we have the House and we have a whole new makeup none of, of those people can do all Powell of our does. lawmaking none uh, of them can do that again but of course not but Powell's not going to do something that is outrageously out of uh out of predictability but nothing unpredictable can really pass like even Predictable stuff has trouble passing Congress. And, and like this is the point that I come back to. Mm. The last two presidential elections that we've had, 2016 and 2020, in both of those cases, you ended up with a trifecta with House, Senate, and White House control. Republicans in 2017, Democrats in 2021. Could either of them accomplish all of their priorities, even given two years? Of course not. But would you debate that those priorities were completely different? I don't think they affected the economy nearly as much as people think. I think they affected markets because, hey, here's where we're going to give tax breaks or here's where we're going to lower or raise taxes. Yep. And so certain sectors may benefit more than others. Sure. But from an actual economic perspective, no, I don't think that there was a meaningful change as a result. Mm. And I, like I know that everyone listening, like they're, they're just like exploding, they're like oh Chuck, you're an idiot. Like you're, I, I get it. I I I get that we want to think that this is what moves markets, but for 364 days out of the year, and for you know almost 1,500 days every four years, we don't have elections. And most of the time, we don't pass anything in Congress. See, you agree on 90, you and I agree on 90% of this. I don't think it's going to move markets. I don't think that either candidate leading here will change anything in the way of deficits or the fact that Social Security is going to run out or, broadly speaking, what you know the big economy looks like over the next decade. My mere point is that the outcome of the election for the economy is more impactful than anything Jerome Powell will have to say on Thursday. But what's that impact if all that's like what, what we have no idea what it will be no but like but whether we will still have a salt deduction whether or not uh, d- doesn't matter to the economy doesn't matter 
It it doesn't matter. It absolutely does. Okay, walk walk me through again. No, 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 no. This is this sure. is this is really like I, there's there's a lot of meat here. I think this is like really great to to dig in on this. So what you're describing is what does it matter to the big gross economy of the whole United States? And yes. no, the salt deduction doesn't matter. But yes. would you say that the salt deduction doesn't matter to your personal economy? Would that's, you say it doesn't matter to every from person? What you said. No, I said it doesn't matter to the economy. Yes, and I believe it does not matter to the economy. Okay. I believe it absolutely matters to the economy. No. Yeah. The, the economy will figure out how to live with or without the salt deduction. 100%. But, that's my, like that. but it will prioritize different people, and different people will win or lose based on whether or not it happens. It is immensely more important than whatever Jerome Powell has to say this week. No, because here's the thing. Jay Powell can quite literally, if the Fed makes a policy mistake, not intentionally, but accidentally. Sure. If the Fed makes a policy mistake, the U.S. has a recession. Mm-hmm. If Congress makes a tax code mistake, the U.S. like doesn't have a recession. It's just, okay, some people get more money and some people don't. Are we like on completely different pages here? If the U.S. Congress makes a bunch of mistakes, then we have another $10 trillion of deficits and potentially ruin the United States' long-term future. We've just talked about how there it's is so much more important. But we've talked about how there is no meaningful daylight on deficits between these two parties. Uh, agreed. So, like, what are we talking about then? I would think that a split Congress would be a net positive for all of this. Why split Congress or not? No one's dealing with it. Well, like, the the point that I'm making is there's no meaningful difference in what you are going to get as far as the, the things that we're concerned about from an economic perspective. Deficit control, you know, how responsive Congress is in the event of a recession. Th- th- there's no meaningful daylight on these things. Mm. It's just, okay, if you end up with Democrats in office, okay, the money's going to clean energy instead of traditional energy. Yep. Like, I- I- is that something that we're really looking at and being like, well, you know, this is going to dramatically change the... No, like, it's... Again, I don't know that it dramatically dramatically changes anything between the Republicans, what would do, and what the Democrats would do, but in terms of the importance compared to what's going to come out of Jerome Powell's mouth on Thursday, to me, and I think almost every American's economy, real-world economy, it is far more important. I don't know. I, I, I just... I, I, don't I know you don't see it, but uh, I, I don't. I would, and, and, I would and look, firmly I, land on the other side. I... I, I, I I think everyone listening thinks I'm the idiot, which is cool. Like, it's, it's fine. You can think <laughs> I'm the idiot. But ultimately, like, th- think about the last month just as an example and what we've seen from interest rates and things like that. We're going to say that, like, stuff like that doesn't matter more than, hey, like, on the margins, the tax code's going to shift from, you know, the top bracket being 37% to 39.6 or 37 to 35. Like, th- I, 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 I can't get there. Mm. Like, I, I, I just can't. And the thing about the Fed is we, we don't know if they're making a big mistake until a year or two after the fact. Sure. Like, we, we can't judge any of this. Even Look, even Congress, if they make a mistake, you look at it and you're like, okay, we won't know until, I mean, if we're talking the deficit, it could be like, 45 years sure and it's probably not even this congress then so it's like i i I just don't know how from an economic perspective we can look at it and say yes like tomorrow matters so much more than thursday a fed mistake is like in my opinion infinitely more important than whatever happens tomorrow from an economic perspective Mm. Because I, I a, would just say that a yeah. Fed mistake literally causes a recession. Yeah, and a again a depending on the makeup of how Congress looks like the the country's economic priorities to me look vastly different under one party versus another. Again, whether even even if that is still the exact same amount of deficits, which parts of the economy are prioritized, which people in the economy are prioritized, looks incredibly different under these two candidates running for president. And nothing that Jerome Powell is going to say on Thursday specifically I don't know is going to have does, as much What do they actually pass? Like what? what? H- hell, if I know. But that. But that's like what? What's meaningful that's going to pass? Is it like no one's going to deal with Social Security while the other doesn't? No one's going to deal with Medicare while the other doesn't. No one's going to deal with the defense budget while the other does. Like what? I don't know. 
what are we talking about? Like, hey, there's a billion dollars going to, like, DOE or something like that. Mm. All right, like, who cares? I don't know. I, I can't get there on tomorrow mattering much economically. I know, I know that that's heathenous to, like, everyone in the entire country. Because it always has to be the most important election of our lifetimes. No, I don't think it has to be the most important election of our lifetimes. No, I'm, I'm just, saying I'm it's about everyone listening. Th- more important than one Fed meeting. More important than one Fed meeting because it is a presidential and election that will swing the Senate in all likelihood. Yeah, I, I can't get excited about it. Fair Sorry. Enough.